Hello, and welcome to the technical specification video for the sales order creation from a local purchase order bot. These days, purchase orders are commonly sent through email. Users need to manually create sales orders based on the purchase orders received from customers, which is a very time-consuming process. This automation can help to save time, minimize costs, and avoid manual errors. The sales order creation from a local purchase order bot automatically creates sales orders from purchase order files located in a local folder. This bot is unattended, and you can find it in the SAP Process Automation Store. The bot can be run following the Business Document Extraction from Email Bot, which extracts documents, in this case purchase orders, from Outlook emails and places them in a specified local folder. Once a purchase order is in the local folder, you can run the automation for sales order creation. Now I will introduce the main configuration file. You need to pay attention to the three columns starting from the left, A, B, and C. Column A is simply an enumeration of the rules you can create, and column B specifies the business object that you want to work with. In our case, we are working with purchase orders. In column C, you can specify the company code that you are working with. Now let's open the second configuration file specific to this bot. It contains a set of rules for the bot during sales order creation. The first rule is whether you allow a sales order to be created even if the business partner is not identified based on the scan customer name. The second rule is whether you allow a product to be created with free text lines if the product ID is not identified based on the scanned product name. The third rule is whether to maintain the shipping address details from the document in a comment field. The confidence score is related to the confidence level of the data that is extracted from the PDF file. Only if the confidence value is higher than the one you set, the bot will go ahead and create the sales order. Let's look at the different folders within the local folder. The purchase order folder contains one folder for each specified company code. Within a company code folder, you can see a structure of three different folders, failed, processed, and to be processed. Within the to be processed folder, the purchase order that is to be processed by the bot needs to be placed. Now, let's go to the application development for SAP Process Automation. After you acquire the bot from the store and deploy it, you need to create a scheduled trigger for the bot. On the Monitor tab, under Manage, click the Automations tile. Here we can see the trigger for the Sales Order Creation bot. Go over to Actions and choose Edit to edit the trigger configuration. In the Edit Scheduled Trigger pop-up window, you can schedule a time when the bot is to run. In this case, the bot will run every 5 minutes from Monday to Friday at 2.30 p.m. On the Input Parameter tab, you need to define the default customer code, the SAP Business One database name, the root folder path where the bot data is to be located, the name of the configuration file, the credentials entry name that you previously defined in the Windows Credential Manager, the SAP Business One tenant URL for the service layer, and the name of the bot specific configuration file for the sales order creation from a local purchase order bot. On the Distribution tab, you can set attribute values that will define on which agents the trigger will run. Here, select the attribute you defined earlier in the Desktop Agent Setup video. To confirm the creation of the trigger, choose the Update button. You can now wait for the bot to be triggered according to the schedule you specified, or you can trigger the bot to run right away by moving to Actions and clicking the Run Now option. You can monitor the status of the bot run by going over to Monitor and clicking Automation Jobs. After the bot run is complete, 
If you refresh the page, you can see that the status of the automation has changed to successful. The bot creates a log file of each bot run in the log folder inside the root folder. In the highlighted row of the log file, you can see that a sales order has been created. This means that a sales order has been created from this local purchase order file. If you now search for this sales order in SAP Business One, you can see that it has been created. You can open the sales order to review the details. In the description, you can see that this sales order has been created by the SAP Process Automation Bot based on the purchase order. For example, you can see that the product ID is already entered here. For the next step, I recommend taking a look at the Master Data Enrichment for Document Information Extraction Bot because this bot is required to run the sales order creation from a local purchase order bot. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.